hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a few months since i've uploaded but it's the new year and i told myself that i was going to be more consistent with my videos this year so why not start now especially because i promised you guys a question and answer video for veterinary assisting and just that type of stuff so this is going to be the video for that um, my next video will be an update in my life just because a couple things have changed in my life and i've experienced some new experiences as well so i want to tell you guys about that so i'm just going to go ahead and start with the vet assistant question and answer i did get a couple questions um i have them on my phone um i have them screenshotted on my phone so the first question that I got was, what's the difference between a tech and an assistant? And the difference is a certified veterinary technician is certified. They have their license, they're credited, um, so they don't require as much supervision from the doctor than assistants do because vet assistants are not certified. They're not licensed. Um, so certified vet technicians, they're able to put the dog under anesthesia. They're mainly the ones assisting the doctors in surgery, as well as um, they get to place catheters. Um, what else? More of the bigger things. But as a vet assistant, personally, I was able to do a lot. And that's because I was cross-trained and I worked at a small clinic. Um, so... I was able to pull blood, get urine samples, read the urine samples, uh, take x-rays, we scheduled appointments, um, we checked in and checked out the patients and their owners, we filled medication, we made appointments, I think I already said that, but we made appointments. Um, we talked to owners on the phone and answered their questions that they had. We gave them, you know, results on tests that we did, you know, stuff like that. Honestly, it was a lot that we could do and a lot of cleaning too. It's not only, you know, doing the cool hands-on stuff. You also need to clean, um, pick up dog poop, make sure cages are clean, all that type of stuff. Um, oh, clip nails. That was one of the first things I learned. I'm sure like at a bigger hospital, they have their own receptionist, their own vet assistants, and that sort of thing. So I hope that answers your question. <laughs> so this person asked, I'm in a career pathway school and I'm in veterinary assistant pathway. If I may ask, what is the annual salary for a vet assistant? Um, so I think this will be different in every state and just in any hospital or clinic that you work at um so i'm just gonna go ahead and say it but when i started i got paid nine dollars an hour okay which to me was reasonable because i did not have any type of experience at all um, I mean, I volunteered at an animal shelter, so I walked the dogs and fed them and cleaned the cages, and that's it, okay? That's the only animal experience I ever had. Um, so when I got offered the job, I was like, yes, you know, I just wanted to work there or just anywhere with animals because I wanted to gain the experience. So $9 an hour was perfect for me. And they were willing to che teach me everything that I needed to know, um, which is a little bit overwhelming, but it's fine because they're there to help you and teach you. And honestly, my coworkers were amazing. The doctors were amazing. They helped me with all the questions that I had and were very patient with me. Um, but anyways, back to the question, so salary, um, like I said, it's very different, um, I'm sure, at a different, at different clinics, at different hospitals, at different states, so I guess just, I don't know if the $9 starting <laughs> helps, but as I was able to learn more and show them that, you know, I am getting it 
you know, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting, um, I'm, I'm learning new things and, and progressing. They, uh, gave me a raise, you know? So I think that's good. Somebody else did ask if it was a livable wage. And personally, I don't think it is at all. Which is kind of sad in a way. I don't think you would be able to... With what I was making, okay? I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have been able to move out on my own. I'm still living with my parents, okay? And if I wanted to move out, there was no possible way because I still have um, student loans to pay, my car payment. I have a lot more bills to pay and a house or renting was just not in my budget at all. So the next question that I got is, I am going to start vet assistant soon. A few concerns I have, do you work seven days a week and do you get breaks? No, I did not work seven days a week. I was part-time, however, I did work pretty much every day, just part-time hours, basically. And Thursdays and Sundays, we were closed. The, those were the days the clinic was closed, okay? So, and we had long hours. Like, if we were to work one day, like, if we were scheduled to work the entire day it was a 10 hour shift or a 12 hour shift um, and if we were working a half day we were working a four or five hour day okay so it's just it's different and yes we got breaks i don't know how it is anywhere else but personally we got an hour lunch break that's just how it was um so yeah, and I think if you work at a hospital, at least this is how one of my um, previous co-workers worked at like an emergency hospital. She worked three 12-hour shift days, so if that helps in any sort of way. I'm currently studying online to become a certified veterinary assistant. There's so much info that we have to know. I'm worried about retaining every single little detail that I need to know. When I finish my program one day and work at an animal hospital, I truly hope other staff are understanding of when someone is new and that it may take them some time to think to do things correctly or remember some things reassure me lol girl they will understand i promise you and if they don't then go find somebody else who is truly gonna help you and understand you know next question is do you have to go to college to become a vet assistant and did you go to college to become one um, so no, I did not go to college to become a vet assistant. Again, I just applied at the clinic that I worked at and they hired me on this um, They hired me and like I said, they were very Helpful and willing to teach me. So I was very appreciative of that But at the time when I applied I was going to college to get my bachelor's degree to then hopefully go into vet school However, once I actually graduated college with my bachelor's, I knew that vet school and becoming a vet was not what I wanted to do, which sucks, but <laughs> I, I just don't know. It's just something that I was like, no, this is not what I want to do anymore. Of course, I still loved working at the clinic, I love animals you know but the career as a vet was just not for me and that's what I um, and that's what I had realized a little too late which again sucks but I'm kind of glad I realized it then and did not spend a lot of money uh, for vet school applications and just all that sort of stuff so yeah um which again which again that was on my resume when i applied you know that i was going to school for my bachelor's degree and i had put there that i was taking you know um related courses like an anatomy and physiology biology like those type of courses which i think also helped me as well as you know 
the volunteering at an animal shelter. In your Q&A, please talk about how you deal with euthanasias and compassion fatigue. Hmm. Okay. Um, so euthanasia. So, the very first euthanasias that I assisted with were very hard for me because one, I'm an emotional person. So, <laughs> yeah, it was just hard, you know, seeing what the owners go through at that moment. And like watching them cry, it makes it made me cry a couple of times. It's what's right for the animals because they're not suffering anymore. And the doctor reassures, you know, at the time that it needs to happen that it's the right thing to do. And it is because you don't want to keep your animal and just let them suffer. That's very selfish of people to do. And I hope wish that a lot of people understood that of course it's hard and of course it's a hard decision and it's gonna be very different afterwards you know going back home sometimes you don't know what to say you know I'm the type of person that at the moment I don't know what to say so but I feel for them you know like I could only imagine how they're feeling. All in all, at the end of the day, it's what's right. You know, you don't want to keep your animal just because you want them there one more night, one more day, two more days, like, or you don't want them at your house to die where they're going to be more comfortable, which is very understandable, but at the same time, like I mentioned, you don't want to be selfish because you don't want them to keep suffering so i hope that helps to that comment slash question um but if you guys noticed i was talking in past tense sometimes and that is because i no longer work at the animal clinic anymore i quit in august yeah, I quit in August and it was going to be five years this December. So I had been there for almost five years. Um, there's nothing that had a, like me quitting had nothing to do with my coworkers, with my bosses, slash the doctors, with my manager. Like, no, it's just like a decision that I made. And I'll talk about it more in my next video, which is an update on my life, which hopefully will be um, uploaded on Sunday or Monday. So keep on, so keep a lookout for that. But yes, I no longer work at an animal clinic, which means there won't be any more vet assisting videos. Unfortunately, I know that that's what you guys liked. That is, of the two, of the couple videos that I have on my channel, the two that I have for vet assisting are my most watched. And I just didn't want to come back to youtube and just leave you guys hanging when i said that i was gonna make a question and answer video so this is why i made this video for you guys because i had experience for five years you know i knew a little bit i guess of what you guys answered so i hope those answers were helpful um if not and if you want more clarification definitely leave it down in the comments i will be more than happy to clarify slash answer more questions um so i am going to be more active in the comments i promise you i'm just going to be more active in youtube overall um definitely a goal of mine of 2020 um but i did record one more like come to work with me uh life of a vet assistant type of video if you guys want to see the last one i can always upload it if not that's totally fine but i hope you guys stick around with me for the growth of my youtube channel hopefully um i know a lot of you guys just came for the vet assisting videos and that's okay i hope you guys have a wonderful night if it is nighttime, it's currently 9.30 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and at the end this video, edit it and put it up for you guys. 
thanks for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video